Shalom, shalom, and welcome back to Kingdom Obedience Ministries. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. I've missed you guys. And I just want to take the time out to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the birthday wishes, all the birthday love. I felt so loved. And I just want to say thank you and may God bless you abundantly. And today's prophetic word is going to be coming from the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verses 13 through 14. And it reads, Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Amen. Today is your day. Today is your day of victory. God is going to deal the death blow to an enemy that has been making your life miserable, riding your back. Today you're going to put something that has been over your head, under your feet. Whatever the Egyptians mean to you, it could be sickness, it could be financial trouble, it could be family strife, or it could be people who are trying to destroy your life, attacking your ministry. Whatever it is, God said to tell you that today is your day for victory. The devil doesn't want anybody enjoying the abundant life that Jesus came to give us. After the children of Israel are thrusted out of Egypt, Pharaoh decides that he made a mistake and wants them back, and now he's in hot pursuit of them. Verses 3 reads, For Pharaoh will... Say of the children of Israel, they are entangled in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. Pharaoh is saying, I got them right where I want them. They're trapped. There's nowhere for them to go. Most of the time when you hear these words, it's because somebody's believed they have somebody's trap. They have someone surrounded. There's no escape. It's because they believe that they have the upper hand and everything is in their favor. It's spoken with the sense that the other party is at their mercy and now their fate is in the hands and they have the power to kill, destroy, or save, or even keep alive. That's exactly what Pharaoh was thinking. How many times have you been at a place where it seems like all hell has broken loose against you and you look around for help, but there's no help to be found? It feels like you're surrounded and the enemy is coming at you from every side. In fact, some people are in that place right now. Things aren't always as they appear. It's a setup. What looks like the worst circumstances you ever faced in your life is getting ready to thrust you into brand new glory, a brand new anointing, a new level of faith and, be and power beyond anything that you have experienced before. God sent an elevator your way and it came in the form of an enemy. God said he will make your haters into your elevators. Some of you need to thank those enemies for pushing you into your destiny. Everything the enemy sent to take you down, God is going to use to lift you up. Don't give up. You're on the edge of a miracle. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. Help is on the way. It's closer than you think. He has heard your cry. God has seen your tears. There is a miracle in the making with your name on it. The children of Israel found themselves in a predicament, a bad situation, a trap. The temptation is when we find ourselves in that predicament is to be just like the children of Israel and begin to murmur and grumble and complain and start looking backwards and begin to blame God for not making everything easy and to call God his love into question for allowing us to struggle and suffer. It's a setup. You've been crying out to God for deliverance, for help, and it looks and it looks to you and it feels to you like you and it looks to you and it feels to you like everything has been taken one giant step from bad to worse to impossible. Where you're down to nothing, God's up to something. God is getting ready to show up and show out. The trap wasn't for the children of Israel. It was for the Egyptians. The trap is not for you. The trap is for your enemies. God let your enemies think you were trapped. God let your enemies see you cry. God let your enemies see you struggle and see your pain so they will get in the trap. God is getting ready to take care of your enemies. God has been using this situation this dilemma, this storm to draw your enemies together, to draw them out of hiding. Some of the ones that used to walk around talking behind your back are now standing up in your face. And some of them have been working in the dark. God is turning the light on and he's uncovering them in this hour. God is going to pull them out of their hiding place and he's going to take care of them once and for all. Have you ever felt outnumbered? Have you ever felt like the underdog? Israel could have never run such a foe. There were no match for the great army of Egypt. 400 years as slaves, they didn't even know how to fight, but they had something Pharaoh had forgotten about. They had God. It looked like it was over for Israel. Pharaoh's army was closing the gap. 
Somebody is in that same place right now. The Lord has been looking and he has been watching the enemy and he has been calculating his actions and his move and he has been observing the way he's been treating you and he's taking it personal. The Bible says God troubled the host of the Egyptians. The word troubles mean to distract, to confuse, to disturb. In other words, what it means is all of a sudden there was a dissension in the rank. They got confused and distracted. They were irritated and they became angry at each other. Verses 25 says, and God take and God took of the chariot's will that they drave them heavily so that the Egypt said, let us free from the face of Israel for the Lord frightened for them against of the Egyptians. That means all of a sudden, the Egyptians had lost. Nothing is going their way anymore. Everything that was working for them is now working against them. Nothing is turning out the way they plan it. God is working right now. God is pulling off their wheels. God is frustrating your enemies. They can't figure it out. Their hexes, their vexes, it ain't working. Their powder and everything else ain't getting the job done. They're scratching their heads right now trying to figure out why it's not working anymore. They're getting frustrated and angry. They're starting to fight with each other. Some of you have fought the same battles for years and years over and over again. You walk through the same fire time and time again, over and over again. You have got relief, but you never have gotten total victory. Today is a day of victory, not relief, victory. God is setting you up. And the moment the Egyptians realize it's a trap, they turn to run for their lives. God has been setting you up for a once and for all victory. I know you didn't understand why you had to go through what you went through. I know you wonder why it seems like the enemy has you surrounded and why it seemed like your enemies had the upper hand and they were going to destroy you. It's just a setup. It's just a setup for a takedown. God is not just wanting to pull you out of the fire today or deliver you from the lion's den. He is not just wanting you to give you a temporary relief or make your enemies run away. God said today is your day for permanent victory family. God is saying in this hour, it's a setup. God is saying in this hour, it was a setup for a takedown. God is saying in this hour, all I need for you to do is praise me. All I need for you to do is praise me in this hour. I am moving. I am working swiftly in this hour. Just praise God. The father is saying, all I require for you in this hour is to praise me because I'm working and I'm doing this suddenly for my beloveds. For my beloveds, while you're praising, God is taking your enemies down, family. God is taking your enemies down. God said it was a setup for a takedown. God said it was a setup for a takedown. Sickness is going down. Debt is going down. Oppression is going down. Enemies of whoever or whatever try to rise up against you is going down in this hour. The father says it was a setup for a takedown, family. That was, that's what the father is saying in this hour. All you have to do is praise me, says the Lord. All you have to do is praise me in this hour, says the Lord. I'm taking some things down in this hour for my children, for my beloveds, for the apple of my eyes. Family. Receive this prophetic word from the Father, from the throne, from the Most High. The Father is saying in this hour, it was a setup for a takedown. It was a setup for a takedown, beloved. Today is your day of victory. Not relief, victory. Permanent victory from any and everything that has tried to make your life miserable, the Father is saying. People who have tried to curse you or destroy you, God is saying in this hour, I am taking them down. Anything and everything, I am taking them down. It was a setup. It was a setup for a takedown, the Father is saying. Family, do you hear the Father? It was a setup for a takedown. God said, get ready. This is your day for permanent victory, not relief, permanent victory, family. Receive this prophetic word in Jesus name. The father is doing it in this hour for his children, for his beloveds, for the apple of his eyes. The father is saying it was a setup family. It was a setup for a takedown in Jesus name. Get ready to walk in your abundant life. Get ready. Get ready. 
This is your day for permanent victory, says the Lord. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Kisses. God loves you. I love you. Shalom.